In light of the recent allegations against Elk Grove City Mayor Steve Lee, what analyzed the Hmong Khan system and how it functions in the modern world that we live in today? On June 1st, during the height of Black Lives Matter protests, a Hmong auto body shop was burnt down. In a Facebook post, Steve Lee alluded that the cause was due to protesting. This sparked a social media war between Steve and Linda Vu on accountability of his statement. On June 12th, Linda was contacted by Ava Vu, her Vu clan representative, where he asked her to remove her social media post, blasting Steve Lee. She refused and attributed Steve as using the Hmong clan system to silence her. This ballooned even further when other women came forward and spoke of Steve's past bullying and silencing a woman. Among these women, Bobby Singh Allen referred to the Hmong clan system as controlling and intimidating system. Both parties continue to discredit each other leading up to the November election. We talked to the Hmong educators to help us understand the situation a little better. Take a listen. There are 18 uh, identifiable distinctive clans in the Hmong community in America, where the male is the head of household and each extended family of the same clan would select a uh, leader. As a patrilineal structure, the power has traditionally rested in the hands of uh, mostly male in the clan system, but it is the expectation of these male elders that they will have the best interests of the people in their clan. So it's their job to find peaceful solutions to whatever issues that may emerge, maybe in a wedding, a uh, dispute. Hmong people enjoy and thrive on the simple agrarian lifestyle with very, very strong altruistic tendencies, meaning that we like to keep um, our friends really close and families even closer. And that is the driving force, I believe, in the uh, behind the, the clan system. I think in the in the US context, the word clan actually is, is very negative, right? We think of the Ku Klux Klan, we think of people being clannish, not just really maintaining within themselves and not wanting to change. And it's supposed to be a very positive thing. The support that we get really depends on the clans that we belong to, are they're supposed to support us. What is wrong though is that um, if that's all you want to do is focus on only people who are from your ethnic group or from your clan, uh, from your you know family lineage. If that's all you want to do, then there's a problem with that. As the election nears and the emotion are at an all-time high, this will have a long-lasting impact in Elk Grove politics and for Hmong Americans around the country.